I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, look below the video to a lesson playlist. This is a great version, especially if you have a four player game that falls through and you only have two players. Go head to head. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They have been mixed and built into walls. This way, we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player 2 will get 27. Then. We'll look at each player's hand and find a waypoint and start the game. Everybody has their tiles, so let's see what we can do for player one. All right, for this player, I do see a lot of two, four, six, eight, and one, two, three, four. Maybe a year hand with these dragons. Let's see if we can do a year hand here. News with the year in BAMs. And then for the next player, we have one, two, three, four, five, one, four, five, six, two, four, eight, four, six, six, four, six, two, four, six, eight, joker bait maybe, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, consecutive run. Sometimes you can use a dragon. One, one, two, three, four, consecutive run. Maybe hold evens for an option down here because there are a lot of two, four, six, eight tiles. The challenge is we have two, eight up here. So when you play, try to pick categories that don't use the same tiles. One, two, three, four, 2018, same tiles. So this could be a challenge, but we have a multiple here. Another option would be like numbers with ones and then two, four, six, eight. Like numbers with ones and then two, four, six, eight. So let's just see, because we also have one, two, three, four with news. That's not a whole lot though. I think I'd prefer the year and two, four, six, eight. Let's see what happens and discard those first. So let's see if we can prove this theory with combating tiles and see how they do against their opponent. Year and two, four, six, eight, or one, two, three, four. All those tiles are the same. Sometimes it can help you, sometimes it can hurt you. Let's see what we can do for player two. Look at these flowers. Let's look at the multiples. We have dragons. Red dragons, six bams, two dot, seven dot. 
maybe consecutive run with five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There are a lot of consecutive run hands with four, five, six, seven, eight. Four numbers in a range. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six. Let's see. Four, five, six. Five, six, seven, six, seven. Let's just wait and see. Okay, then up here, flowers, dragons. Two, let's see. I think the one can go like numbers with twos. Let's just start by discarding here and see what happens. I wouldn't pick a hand. I think consecutive run for both hands. Little numbers, middle numbers. We could maybe even do big odds. Five, seven, nine. What about five, seven, nine, and two, four, six, eight? Let's see if that might be better. Two, four, six, eight, and odds. We have only one multiple down here. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe even a pair hand. The two, four, six, eight pair hand is the second one down. And then down here, we could do like numbers with fives or sevens. Maybe use the dragons down here. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine, mixed suit, second from the bottom. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Maybe. Look at all these flowers, though. I'd like to use those. One, three, five, seven, nine. like to use these flowers. Okay, let's just move on and discard. If I'm keeping the dragons, I'm going to keep that too. Let's see here. Consecutive run, I think is what we were thinking up here. Let's keep the one three. And then down here, odds. Five, seven, seven, nine. Five, seven, seven, nine. Let's hold those. Both players have a challenging start. Let's discard this West and see how it goes. Got to start somewhere. We're going to draw now for player two. East. No, we don't need wins up there. I think that would just complicate matters. Five crack. We have a multiple now down here. Let's put these up here. Two thousand and eighteen with news. Let's see. One, three, five. Little odds. One, three, five. 
or one through five in mixed suits. One, three, five, nine. We, we're missing a seven bam for odds. I'd like to leverage this pair down here though. Let's go ahead and discard the nine dot. And draw. Seven bam. So we have five, seven, seven, nine potential. Up here, two, four, six, eight. Leveraging multiples. So if we discard all those and play five, seven, seven, nine, big odds. If we're playing big odds, let's just hold the one, three, five, because we could do one, three, five, seven, nine as an option. Let's go ahead and discard the one bam. This hand is concealed. Eight dot, we do not need that. Six, seven, eight. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and discard the eight crack. This hand is concealed right now. We could potentially take that for a Kong, but we have so many options. I'd rather try to find a way to use these multiples. Let's draw. Two crack. There's a multiple now. Flowers, two, four, six, eight. So let's discard five, seven, nine. Let's discard the three dot. Two crack. Okay, now one through five consecutive run right there. We could use this as joker bait. Either way, we really don't need. Actually, you know what? We do have two, four, six, eight, all singles though. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Let's get rid of the eight dot and draw. Six dot, two, four, six, eight. Let's discard this five bam. Eight dot. That's already out. Drawing for player two. East. Discard. Player one. Seven dot. Okay, so we paired up there. So I was thinking three, four, five, six, seven consecutive run potential. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is probably going to be Joker bait. This could be Joker bait too. One, two, three, four, five. Let's discard the six dot. And we'll draw up here. They could take that with jokers, but I would not commit. We don't even know what hand they're playing yet. I'd rather draw south. East, okay, that's a keeper. News, we need a south, two, zero, one, eight. We need to pair up the two and the eight. So let's go ahead and discard the five dot. Up here, we need to decide five, seven, seven, nine. This would be the second hand down on the right. If we were to pung that, we could pung, pung, 
we would need to fill in here pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and pung it. Pung. We're going to commit. It's pretty light, so that's a risk. Let's go ahead and discard the one crack and draw for this player. West. We don't need that. We need a south. Drawing for player two. Seven bam. Well, that was helpful because we can pung, kong. We need a nine bam or a joker to help with that hand. Let's discard the three crack. Down here, we could potentially use that. Down here, let's go ahead and pung it. Since they're escalating, we'll escalate. Countermeasure, let's discard and draw. Nine dot, that's not helpful. Drawing for player one. Four crack, that was a good keeper there because we can pung here, kong here. This is the first hand under consecutive run. This is gonna be probably joker bait now that we've committed with the three crack. So let's go ahead and discard the six bam and draw for player two. That is helpful. Let's discard the five crack. Let's Kong. This is actually now ready to win on a one crack. We'll just have to see what happens. This hand is pretty far away. So if a one crack goes down, I might declare Mahjong. If this hand were closer to a, a winning position, I might hold off on declaring a win. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. We've got six discards, really seven. We have a dragon. Let's get rid of the dragon. And now, wait, did I already discard? Let me see. Three, four, 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 four. Yeah, I need to discard. Green. West. Four crack. We're ready to win here. That wasn't ready. We needed a four crack. Good. Four bam. Discard. Up here, we're going to draw. Eight bam. Okay, let's see here. I don't think we're going to need these. Let's discard the green and we'll draw for player one. Nine crack, that would be a discard. We just got through the second wall. We're now heading into the third wall, which is the middle game. Everybody should know what category they're in at a minimum. Here we're playing consecutive run. They're ready to win on a one crack. Here we're in the year category. We have two joker bait there. Here, we're playing big odds. They're ready to pung and kong. Little joker bait there. This up here, we're playing two, four, six, eight. They have a long way to go. Drawing for player two. Six crack. There's another multiple. I'm kind of thinking maybe they can play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. This is joker bait here, but here's flower, two, four, six, eight, and then pairs of sixes. This is the second hand down. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven groups of four, that's 28. You got to discard. And now we're going to draw down here. This is a concealed hand. 
six crack. We do not need that. Up here, we're either playing two, four, six, eight pair hand or the first two, four, six, eight. I think I'd rather play the pair hand, so I'm not going to call that. We're going to draw. Okay, we got seven, nine. This hand is ready to win. No, we need to pung Kong. There's a little flexibility with the Joker. Let's go ahead and discard the Red Dragon. And we can draw down here. Four dot. Drawing for player two. Three bam. That's a discard. Player one. Six bam. We can discard that. No worries there. Five bam. We have five dot, seven dot. We don't need this five bam. We're drawing for player one. Flower. We don't need any flowers here. We're going to get rid of it right away. And we're good to go. Joker. Okay, so this hand is ready on either a 7 dot 7 bam or 9 bam and up here we're playing a pair hand so we can use all those jokers there let's discard this red dragon and draw 8 bam paired up that's good we'll discard that 3 bam and draw there's a winning hand here so pung Kong, 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 five, seven, seven, nine. Pair hand up here. We'll see what happens. We're heading into the middle game, middle of the middle game. I would wait and see if we can get to this pair hand. We're really a pair, a joker bait pair away. And they really don't need joker bait because we have a pair hand up here unless we switch to two, four, six, eight. Let's go ahead and keep the flower and discard the two dot. And this player doesn't even want it. Two bam, we paired up. Okay, now we can get rid of these here. Let's discard this one dot and draw. Eight dot, we can discard that. They're focused on sixes here. North, we need a south. Let's discard that. And we'll draw. Seven crack, we don't need that. Drawing for player one, six crack. Okay, they're good, they have a pair there. South. This hand is not ready. We need to pung here and here. That south, there's two out. So we need to draw five bam. Drawing for player two, five crack. We don't need a, this flower or this joker. So we, we're playing a pair hand up here. So, unless we switch to two, four, six, eight, let's exchange the joker and discard the two dot. Maybe we could play two, four, six, eight. Fourth hand down. We need an eight crack though. How many eight cracks are out? Just one. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Let's draw. Seven crack. Drawing for player two. Four dot. Player one. Four bam. 
player two. Green. Player one. Five, bam. Player two. One dot. Player one. Three crack. Joker. Exchange. We can use that in here. Ready to win on a one crack for a pure hand. No jokers. Let's discard that one dot. And this hand is one away. We need a one bam or a white dragon in that south. We're going to draw. Three bam. Drawing for this player. Seven crack. Up here. Eight bam. Five dot. Now we need that up here. Exchange. We'll discard the seven dot. Okay, now up here, let's call Mahjong so that we can use this joker up here and give up on the pair hand. We're heading into the end of the third wall. Okay, five, seven, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight. We'll discard the six dot and draw. Three crack, don't need it. Drawing for player two. Four bam. Player one. Flower, we don't need that. Player two. Three dot. Player one. Nine crack. Player two. Joker. Let's get rid of the six bam. So we need to pair up that four. Two, four, six, eight. We're going to draw. One bam. Okay. Let's see. We need a south to win. Let's throw the seven dot and we're going to draw north. We just finished the third wall. We're heading into the fourth wall. End game. This is when you want to decide if you want to push to win or switch to defense. I think they should both push to win. Let's draw. Red. Drawing for player two. East. Mahjong, and I would declare it, especially because it's pure. One, two, three, four, we need a south. We're going to discard the joker. So that'll be an indicator that we're waiting on a pair probably or another pure hand. Now up here, there's a pung of fours out. They need that for a pair. So they are kind of in trouble here. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe they could switch to, let's see, two, four, six, eight. The fourth hand down, Kong's. Kong, 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 pair. Okay, so let's just see what happens. We need to get rid of all these flowers because that first hand is dead since we need a pair. Eight crack. They got the eight crack. Let's discard the six bam and we're going to draw flower. We don't need that. And these are all safe discards because nobody wants the flowers. Green dragon. 
too bad the reds went out. There are two, three reds out, and we need a pair for the concealed hand. So flower went out, green dragon went out. We're going to draw two dot. Drawing up here, six dot. Drawing for player one, white dragon, pure hand, another pure hand, no jokers. I would push it. We're ready on a south. Let's draw south. There are two out, I would discard. South. And that's Mahjong. News 2018. They had three flowers to get rid of, but there are a lot of winds out. I would have thought that might be safe, and there was no way to know what they're playing. So they have two pure hands. This is a 25 point hand, but it's doubled because it has no jokers. So that's a 50 point hand. This is a concealed hand, 30 points, doubled because it's pure, so that's 60, and they'll double it because it's their second win, so that's 120. 120 and 50, this player would owe 170. But they have a single win here, 25 points, so they would deduct that from the value, the combined value of this player's hand. Player two would owe player one. 145 points or a dollar 45 if you're playing for money and they needed to Kong Kong so yeah they they probably should have really probably just focused on defense but we're we've got a big wall left I would have pushed it and nobody wants the flowers Would you discard a joker announcing that you're waiting on a pair or a single? For me, if I'm pushing a pure hand, I do it. I'd like to hear what you would do. Write it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy, or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.